Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to part 33 of my Dankenropa V3 Killing Harmony Let's Play. In the last episode, we began our final investigation into all the mysteries we haven't solved. You know, things about the school, the supposed end of the world, Rantaro, Kokichi, all that good stuff. Kibo is full badass now, and he is fighting off Monokuma. We have until dawn to try and figure out all of this stuff before Kibo just goes full ham and blows up the school. So in this episode, we are going to uh, hopefully wrap up this investigation and, uh, you know, see what we learn next. So let's get into it. All right. So yes, we left off at Rantaro's lab where we, he discovered that he is the ultimate survivor. And uh, I got a little bit of flack for basically like cheesing the, uh, the puzzle. Like, I know now that this whole time limit thing is kind of inconsequential. So the reason why I had Himiko help me was like, oh, I don't have time to solve this puzzle. Like, I'm just I'm just going to have her help me out because I don't know how long it's going to take me. So now that I know that this time limit is kind of arbitrary, I don't feel so rushed, which is nice. So thank you guys for letting me know about that. Now I can kind of just take it easy and all that good stuff. So let's get out of here. We were about to head to Rantaro's room and see what we can learn there. Oh, okay. There's no time to be standing around. We only have until dawn to investigate. I need to inspect every inch, get as many clues as I can. That's true. I should go there next. If Kibo destroys the door like last time, I should be able to get in there. Shuichi, I finally found you. Huh? Sumugi, what's wrong? Um, I was checking Kaito's research lab up on the sixth floor, but... What is this? Kibo's attack demolished a wall of the school and caused a new room to appear. Uh, um... A new room? Yeah. And it's a really weird room, too. Anyway, come with me. Alright, so I guess we're gonna be going to Kaito's room next. And then we'll go to Rantaro? Sumugi spoke almost encouragingly, then walked on ahead. Hmm. A weird room, huh? I can't ignore that. I suppose I have no choice. I'll go there later and head to the sixth floor right now. Okay, let's do it. Oh, jeez! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hi! That was scary! Leave it to me, oh my god! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh! That terrified me. I was like, I forgot for a second how to actually use the gun. Okay, alright. Alright, we're good. We're good. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is why I can't do scary games. Like, even just, like, turning the corner and seeing that thing there that doesn't really pose much danger to me. And that, like, <laughs> that made me jump. Alright. Oh, Kaito. R.I.P., dude. All right, let's check out what this strange room is. Okay. A new room. It must be that. Seems like... Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. Okay. I'll try looking around. Man, I am so curious about how much more stuff there's going to be. I went through the large hole in the room and stepped into the next room. Oh... Okay, cold sleep. So this is must where we were in like that uh, um, uh, cryogenic sleep, you know, like assuming that we're hundreds of years into the future. This is... Hey. Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. I can't remember if it, was a, if it was hundreds. I don't know how much time has elapsed since this supposed end of the world. Could it be? I suppose it's possible that... Oh, here we go. Another? What is it this time? Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, they're all together again! Let's begin then. It just makes you realize how many people there were at the start. Hold on, I'm not mentally ready yet. <laughs> well, robots probably don't need to mentally prep themselves the way humans do. Oh? Actually, do robots even need to be put in cold sleep? That's robophobic. 
I'm still a teenager, just like you all. I would feel lonely if I were the only one still awake. Like I thought. But is it really okay? This will be my first time in cold sleep, so I'm just plain nervous. <laughs> it's the same for all of us. Oh my <laughs> gosh, oh my gosh. But you know, it's a man's dream to leave Earth behind and travel across the stars. Ew. What a careless guy. Fucking moron! Fucking idiot is more like it. What? Oh, Mew, I... I hate to admit it, but I do kind of miss you. You definitely brought a lot of, uh, energy to the group. Oh, uh, jeez. Oh, Okay, break it up. We gotta be friends here, so don't start fighting with each other. Oh. Friends, you say? Yeah. And then there are certain that people I don't really miss all that much. That's right, we're friends from here on out. Even though you just met us and you don't even know what we're like? Because... Well, the 16 of us are going to be here together from now on. Yeah. It might be hard, but let's try to take it one step at a time. Oh, that's the KD I remember. God, even from the beginning, she was like a leader. A peacemaker. We might fight at first, but we shouldn't forget about believing in each other. Yeah, that's right. We all went through such a difficult time, so I think we can all become good friends. Right? What do you say? You'd be like, fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, going to, going to, going to agree, going to want to be friends with everyone. That is correct. After we wake up from cold sleep, we'll have no choice but to live together. That's right. So we all better get along. Oh, Rantaro, I can't wait to find out more about you. We're already friends. Even Atua says that we're friends. Oh, Angie, do not miss you at all. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a pain, but okay, I guess. Hey. Hey, what about you? Huh? Me? Oh, he's got his hat. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm glad. No matter how many times we fight, we smile in the end. That's what true friendship is. Be cool if we could be like that, all 16 of us, and not murder each other. That's right. Yes, I agree, as long as we leave the degenerate males out. <laughs> um, I think us guys should be included, too. Oh, right. Then let's do it. It'll probably be a couple of years before we all see each other again. But let's all work together and do our best. That's right. Yes, because we are humanity's last hope. All right. All right, then let's all get some shut eye. I'll see you guys later. Aww. And then just, just us. I remember now. This room is. This was the room where we went into cold sleep. Then. Samugi, you remember too? Okay. This is the room where we were put into cold sleep for the Gopher Project. It's where the 16 of us first met. But, but back then, we all said we'd work together. We promised we'd become friends. <laughs> and now we're killing each other. Why did it have to end up like this? That's... This is Monokuma's fault. Monokuma and the true mastermind controlling him. Um... Yes, that's, that's the big thing we need to figure out still. That real mastermind hiding in this academy is making us do all this, right? Right? Shuichi, let's find them no matter what and end this killing game for good. And then, let's finally fulfill that promise we all made. There's a lot of us missing now, but it's not too late. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Alrighty. Oh, documents, okay. There are some documents left on the table. It's probably information about all of us. A go for project participants list? Um... Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. I found it when I was here earlier. Uh... Um, Anything in particular note? Um, All of our profiles are written here. Most of it is stuff we already know, but that's not the important part. It's about Kaede. <gasps> what about Kaede? Seems like... Oh! Snap! She has a twin. Huh? A twin? Yeah. It seems like she has a younger twin sister. It says her sister was adopted by a relative and they barely had any contact, but... Uh... I'm still a little worried because... Junko and Oshima also had a twin sister. I mentioned in the last episode about, like, is there going to be some sort of twins coming into play with the whole, like, you know, I, oh, and then I realized, like, oh, that's part of the puzzle, but maybe I wasn't too far off. Uh, okay. No, Kaede is not the mastermind. Don't even, don't even do that to me. True, but that don't imply me. that. Don't imply that. On top of that, Junko used her twin sister to run her killing game from behind the scenes. I mean, it's probably just a coincidence, but I thought I should mention it to you, Shuichi. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks for, like, turning my whole world upside down. I- I can't even imagine. This is the first time I'm hearing that Kaede had a, has a twin. Like, you think that might be something that Kaede would mention, like, talking about her family? But maybe not. Ah. 
Like, they did lose their memories, but... I don't think she'd lose her memories about having a twin. But is that relevant? It doesn't really matter, does it? Or maybe, I can't really remember... Uh, it's like I've been mind-wiped. Jeez, it's like with how bad my memory is sometimes with the details of, the, of these games. I'm trying to remember, like, what parts of their memory got wiped. I, I suppose maybe. Maybe if whoever is running this wanted her to forget about that fact, they could make her forget about that fact. Because I'd like to believe that if Kaede genuinely remembered, she would have maybe mentioned it at some point. Seems like... It seems like their battle has gotten more intense. I wonder if we're going to be okay. It seems like the building is going to break soon. I remember oh, I still have so many more things to check out, I feel like. Kibo said he'd give us until dawn, but... but... And there's a chance that Monokuma will defeat Kibo before that, right? Okay. Either way, we should hurry. What should we do? What are we gonna do now? I'm... Or what are you gonna do now? There's a place we should investigate. I found it right after the killing game started, but it's been closed this whole time. Could it be? You mean... Okay. Yes, the hidden room in the back of the library. Okay, thank you for telling me, because I'm like, but I don't remember <laughs> what room this is. With Kibo's help, I'm positive I can get inside. Oh yeah, it's the one that has Monokuma's face on it. Certainly. The one that kind of started off this whole thing in the first place is the whole reason that Kaede killed Brantaro. You're right, I'll go with you. Alright, well, let's talk to Samugi. She probably won't have much to say, other than we should get going. Um. Oh, never mind. That reminds me, do you know where Maki and Himiko are? I was looking for them to tell them about this place, but I couldn't find them. If I remember correctly... Maki is in Kokichi's room at the dorms. Why? Kokichi's dorm room? Why is she there? That's... She's looking through all of Kokichi's stuff for any clues he might have left behind. And then Himiko is headed towards Rantaro's room. She's trying to find any clues that Rantaro might have left behind. Samugi must have just missed Himiko on the way here. I see. Oh, so you were both at the dorms? Yeah. Well, as long as they're still fine, it's okay. Since Kibo and Monokuma are running wild... I was just plain worried Himiko and Maki would get caught up in the destruction. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm very curious now that I've remembered this room. To check out what is inside. It's gotta be something to do with the Mastermind, considering Monokuma's face is on it. And only the supposed Mastermind would be able to get into there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Scary. Scary, scary, scary. Okay. How did I do the gun thing again? Uh. Okay, there we go. There we go. Leave it to me, everyone. Whew, Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been in the basement. All right, so library is right here. How convenient, though, that Kibo just happens to be knocking out the parts that I need to be knocked out, but also, like, keeping the places I need to go from being, you know, inaccessible. Maki. <laughs> I knew you would come here. If you're reinvestigating old areas, you'd have to come here eventually. Uh -huh. But before you do, listen to what I have to say. Okay. Is this about the blueprints? Have you looked through all of them? Okay. Yeah, I have, but something caught my eye that worried me. Although, I'm not sure how significant it is. Now, if it worries Maki, that worries me too. Oh, <laughs> not the latter, Maki. It's like, Maki, I know you have something very important to tell me, but I gotta look at this ladder first. Hey, Maki, what were in those blueprints you were looking through? Okay. I found a design that worries me a little. It was drawn with too much detail. Uh, um... It looks like a vacuum. What a peculiar shape. Weirdo. It's a machine that sucks up bugs called the bug vac- <gasps> Oh, a bug vac? Kokichi came up with the design? But I thought there weren't any bugs outside of Gonta's lab. No. Now that you mention it, oh my gosh, so... Oh, I'm wondering if he did that to kind of like show, hey, there's no living creatures or anything, so this is truly the end times when maybe it actually isn't? Because he was going on about how there were no bugs anywhere. That because of tiny bugs. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Going to think that before, but when out walking in courtyard, going to think he see tiny bug. But bug so tiny, even going to know could see it, and going to have 20 over 0.625 eyesight. 
So maybe going to just make mistake, but going to think. No, maybe going to just see things. Remember. Gonta was always seeing small bugs. But, but Gonta said he was just seeing things. Oh yeah. Maybe Kokichi asked Mew to invent that to see for himself. Huh? So Mew actually made this? Okay. After I found this uh after I found this design, I went to Mew's research lab. Well and I found a prototype that she was still working on. Hey. This is it. It may be a prototype, but it seems to be functional already. The suction function is already finished. As she said that, Maki flipped a switch on the machine and... It has pretty strong suction. With this, you could vacuum all the bugs around you at once. Nothing in it. It looks like it was used several times, but it doesn't seem like they caught any. Maki sighed and turned off the bug catcher. Then does that mean there are no bugs? It was just Gonta's imagination after all? Okay. That's probably the case. Well, even if there were bugs, I don't know how that would be a clue. Sure. But I wanted to tell you, especially since I spent a lot of time investigating it. Aw, she just wants, like, some props. Right, thank you. She just wants to be helpful. Aw, Maki, you're so sweet. Were those bugs really just Gonta's imagination? There must be more to it than that. Ah. You guys were here? Alright, Himiko. Lay it on me. What did you find? Yeah. If we were all gonna meet up, why didn't anyone tell me? I couldn't find anyone, so I was starting to get worried. Uh, um... Oh, sorry. Hey. And where were you up until now? Hey. You went to my, uh, Rantaro's room, right? Did you find anything interesting? Hehe. <laughs> what is this expression? Um... Himiko, did you find anything in Rantaro's room? Shut up! I'm not gonna tell you. Stop asking me. Shut up. Leave me alone. Huh? Why? <laughs> if I say I didn't find anything, you're gonna decide I'm useless, aren't you? Aw. I, I won't let that happen. Aw, that face made it seem like she was all smug like she found something. So I guess she didn't find anything. It's okay. Don't worry. I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. Oh, Mock, you, you gotta work on your uh, comforting skills. What did you say? That, that's just as bad. If it isn't in Rentaro's room, then where is his survivor perk? We didn't find anything on his body. Did he hide it somewhere before he died? But hiding it in your room would be the safest place for it. Did someone take it? What's wrong? Oh, maybe Kaede took it. <gasps> oh, I think we should go check out Kaede's room. Shuichi, what's wrong? You're right. Or maybe this secret twin who's been hiding somewhere took it. I am so curious about that. Hey, we're going to check what's behind the hidden door, right? Let's hurry up and do it. You're right. You're right. Because, I mean, the thing is that Ka Kaede, she had that backpack. If she could hide that uh, shot put ball in there, what else did she hide? Maybe Kaede's not quite as uh, innocent as I thought she was. Oh, <sighs> The hidden door is where Rentaro was investigating just before he died. There might be something in there that would be a valuable clue. First, I should inspect the hidden door. I know you guys were telling me that this was a controversial chapter and people have very mixed fe feelings about it. So maybe if we learn, like, if it turns out that Kaede had a twin and they were working together, maybe that would be a thing people would be like, well, that's a little bit of, like, a, just a copycat from the first game. I, I could just be an insane, like, conspiracy theory I've got going on right now. But, like, I'm very curious about why people are so divided on this chapter. Guess we'll have to see. The door has been locked this entire time. With Kibo's help, we might be able to open it. Um. The door can only be opened with a card key. There must be something here. Hmm. Maybe the mastermind is hiding behind this hidden door. That's true. Then if we kill them, we can end this killing game. No. No, I told you, we can't kill them. If you do that, we'd be the same. <coughs> Whoa. Huh? What? Oh! Found you! You guys have been doing whatever you feel like, huh? You can't just go anywhere you want without permission! Father will get mad! I don't like it when Father gets mad! So before he finds out about this... Kibo? Kibo? I'm gonna destroy you all! Kibo! Damn it! Everyone run! Yeah! Yeah, Kibo! <laughs> 
this chapter just shot him up on the list of uh, characters that I like. Just stay put for now. Kibo, you saved us. As a reward, I'll use my magic to turn you into a real boy. So you need me to open that door, right? Uh, okay. Like, he's just become so focused and just so single-minded. He feel I feel like he's lost a little something there, but he's just so cool. Hey. Are you ignoring me? Well, I guess there's nothing I can do since I need to charge my... Listen closely. Please stand back. It's dangerous to be too close. After that terse comment, Kibo aimed his rocket launcher at the door. Uh. The hidden door is completely destroyed. Yes. The door is open and we can finally enter. Yeah. The mastermind's hiding in there, no doubt about it. But is it okay to just go in there? What if we get attacked or something? It's okay. Oh, then we'll just have to strike back. I... I would join you, but I need to hold off the exosols here. Well then... Shuichi, it is all up to you. Please catch the mastermind, no matter what. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, got it. Okay, man, I am so hyped. The mastermind is in here? Certainly is possible. We should be careful. Then... All right, let's go. Well, I'll go in first. I'm the only one who can fight if anything happens. I guess. Oh yeah, please. Led by Maki, we walk through the hidden door. Oh wow, it's like a dating show or something with all the hearts and everything. Mm. I don't know why that was my, like, first thing that I came to, but I'm like, it looks like some sort of, like... <laughs> I don't know, like... It just looks like a... Lounge or something. This is the... This is the hidden room. It's much bigger than I expected. Wait. This room's atmosphere... Seems like... Doesn't it remind you of the remnants of despair that admire Junko and Oshima? Oh! <gasps> Oh, is that the thing that uh, it showed Junko uh, at the end of the last chapter and it had like, um, oh, what's it called? It, like, was it Monokuma who was like suspended in like that water and it had all the wires and stuff? And is that what's behind that curtain? The mastermind behind this killing game must be hiding in here. Why you? Where? Where's the mastermind hiding? <laughs> here. Huh? What is it? Was that Monokuma's voice just now? Yeah. Welcome to the final stage. Guess it's time for the final boss to make their debut. That would be... That would be quite the choice. As instead of doing like a class trial, it was like a legit just boss fight. <laughs> Maybe that's why people were so divided about it. What? Where? Where's that voice coming from? Hmm. There's something draped in fabric. It looks suspicious. I cautiously lifted up the fabric and... Yep. Oh. I'm on a Kuma head. <laughs> you found me, or rather, you just found a place that you were meant to find. At any rate, you can't end the killing game. The killing game was born from the womb of despair. Starting with the killing game at Hope's Peak Academy, created by the ultimate despair. <laughs> They're all connected. The killing game is despair itself. What? What is this? Are you Monokuma? Hey, um... Of course, but I'm not just any Monokuma. <laughs> I'm the overseer of the killing game and the source of all Monokumas. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been given a special name, Mother Kuma. Mother Kuma? Then... So then the machine that makes spare Monokumas in this academy. Yeah? Oh, that's me. Here. You see this amazing machine behind me? It creates spare Monokumas. All I gotta do is copy over my thoughts and... Yahoo! Presto! I give birth to myself. What is that? A spare Monokuma? Can they be made that easily? I thought they were advanced robots. No way! Uh, yeah, that's why I'm so amazing. No. No, that might be a lie. It's trying to trick us with fake information. That's true. Anyone can see this thing is giving too much information far too conveniently. No way! 
Huh? But it's not a lie. I can make spares really easily. That's true. Could you do that right now? Right? Yeah, try and make a new Monokuma. Huh? What's wrong? Yeah. I can't birth a mon uh, Monokuma for someone who doesn't love me. What about after it's born, huh? Did you think about that? Take some responsibility. Cut it out. Whatever, just give birth to a Monokuma. Birth refuse! No, I won't do it. I'm not gonna birth one for someone I don't like just because they tell me to. This is stupid. Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. Hey! Are you listening? We said to give birth to a new Monokuma. Hey now! It's totally ignoring us. I wonder if the thing about the spares was a lie after all. A lie, huh? But why lie about that? There has to be some motivation to lie. <laughs> hey. I mean, the fact we're getting all of these truth bullets, it's gotta- we, we have to be doing a class trial. Like, that just goes without saying. Enough with this Monokuma, let's hurry and search this room. You're right. You're right, the Mastermind is hiding in here somewhere. Hey, Shuichi. Shuichi, don't just stand around. Look for the Mastermind. Uh, okay. That's right. First, we have to see if the Mastermind is hiding here. There should be other clues here as well. That would be crazy if it turns out that Kaede's twin was here, it looked just like her, and Shuichi would have like this weird kind of like moral dilemma because, you know, she was close with him and... Or maybe it was the whole thing that that wasn't Kaede and that was the twin, but I just feel like that would be going to that well too many times. The whole thing about the, um, you know, the twin and everything would be a little bit of a cop-out. This is a trash can. That's true. I should investigate this too. I'm positive there's some clue here. But I feel like the twin thing is like a red herring to make us think that, and that's gonna be someone that we would not expect. I open the trash can casually and Huh? Aha. I let out a surprise gasp. Huh? What is this? This thing in the trash can is much heavier than I thought. Why? Ah! <gasps> a shot put ball? Why is this here? But there's no blood on this shot. It can't be the one that Kaede used to kill Rantaro. Hmm. In that case, where did this come from? Why is this here? Ugh. Oh my gosh, I wonder if the things we're gonna find in here is all stuff to do with Kaede? This is... I noticed something sticking to the shot put ball. Uh, um... Some cloth fibers from something. Inspecting it closely, I could see several pink fibers stuck to the surface of the shot. Oh, it's from her, her sweater. They're pink. Wait, that means this shot. I understand. I know how to pin down the mastermind of this killing game. Oh my goodness. What? What? I don't want to believe it. We were finally able to get in thanks to Kibo destroying the hidden door. The only other way in, the co uh, in was the card key. Of course, none of us have that, so we couldn't get in before. But it doesn't look like there's a card reader on the inside of the hidden door. I looked through the rubble thoroughly, but didn't find anything like that. Which means, you don't need a card key to leave this room. In that case, placing dust on that card reader wouldn't have mattered if they came out from this side. Oh dang! Oh dang! Okay, so there was someone in here the whole time? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm missing just a few more pieces of information to, to piece this together. A monopad, and there's blood on it. Why? Whose monopad is this, and why is there a blood stain on it? That's... I don't know, but we should inspect it closely. This is a student handbook. The name of the owner should show up when it turns on. I started up the monopad and- oh, is it Kaede's? Huh? This mono- oh! This monopad is a survivor perk. That means in addition to the video, Rantaro's survivor perk was this other monopad. No. Is this a map of the Ultimate Academy? So that's how he knew all the... Okay. The places that open with the mysterious objects are labeled too. As well as the hidden room. Which means this is a complete map of the Ultimate Academy for gifted juveniles. Hmm. So Rantaro was given this map as part of his survival perk. Or survivor perk. That's why he knew about the hidden door. What's this? Clue to end the killing huh? game. Oh, that's why in the video he talked about, like, you know, you should have been able to end this already, but if you're watching this, obviously that didn't work. Okay. The mastermind who is behind the killing game is hiding somewhere within the academy. 
Your best chance of exposing them is when Monokuma needs a spare. At that time, the mastermind will go to the library's hidden room. To prove this hint is accurate, I will predict something. The first thing you will remember is the ultimate hunt. Only share this information with people who you know you can trust. Oh, and that's how we knew about the hunt. How you determine that will mean your life or your death. Oh, and that's why he was asking, Do have any of you heard about the ultimate hunt? A hint to yourself from yourself. That was part of the survivor perk. That's why Rantaro brought it up. Because he read this hint. Yes. I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Damn. Even he didn't completely believe it, but he had no choice. That's why he went to the library. Hmm. That's what started all of this. Okay. Hmm. That monopad isn't the student handbook. It looks like something else. Well... Oh my gosh, and then he probably he had he must have had that on him when he got killed, and then whoever the uh the killer was. Oh, who was Kaede found the monopad and brought it in here to hide it. Either Kaede or someone who was working with Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 That's I was going to check that. If I can determine whose blood this is, we'll be that much closer to the truth. The thing is, if Kaede has a twin, the twin is here. I don't know how it works with twins. I would assume they would have the same blood type. Hmm. How are you going to check? That's The camera Kaede and I set up from here, we can deduce it from the pictures. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's no there'd be no way to check for a blood type though. That's what I thought he was getting at. That picture is in Kokichi's room. That's right. That punk gathered evidence from the pa uh, past cases just so he could... I bet he collected that picture, too. By the way, So, which one do you need? There were several pictures, right? That's... The last picture taken of Rantaro. The one in which he was trying to remove the camera. I see. The one where the camera lured him with the flash. Okay. Got it. I'll go retrieve it, so I'll let you handle this area. But... Maki, be careful, okay? Kibo and the Exosols are fighting. Hey. Hey, who do you think I am? Do you want to die? <laughs> oh, somehow it's even creepier when she says it with a smile on her face. <laughs> I finally reached the point where I can tell that that was a joke. Alright. So, monopad, done. Already checked out the trash can in there. Check this out. So, let's talk to the girls. And there's probably no doubt that the mastermind came here. There should definitely be a clue. Let's check thoroughly. Well, yeah, we could, or you could just stand around, you two, and just wait for me to do all the work. Where? Where's the mastermind hiding? Please, oh no, please, Mother Kuma, may we ask you where the mastermind is hiding? Wait, why? Why are you being so proper? I was like, don't be bringing that Atua shit back in. How stupid! Um, I can't share info that important. It would make the killing game less exciting. There's no doubt this is the Mastermind's room. It's definitely for the remnants of despair. Yeah? Oh, is it that obvious? Well, when you're right, you're right. The one you're looking for comes to this room quite often. Quite often. <laughs> but they're not stupid enough to let you guys catch them in the act. Uh, okay, so obviously, I mean, I never really thought Kaede was the Mastermind. She couldn't be. Because she's dead. But there's a whole thing with the twin. And then there's also, you know, those of us who aren't Shuichi. Any one of us could be the mastermind. What did you say? It can't be. Then the mastermind isn't here? And if they come frequently, then... <gasps> oh no, wait. They're not here right now. Is it Kibo? I think my hint just finally dawned on Shuichi. Hint? Why? Why are you giving us hints? Do you want us to find the truth? Yeah. What if I do- or Maki? Because Maki's- I'm just thinking of people who are technically not here right now, but who are still alive. Because I'd imagine they have to be alive in order to be the mastermind. So, if we're talking about that, it's either... Kibo, Maki, 
or this maybe this mysterious twin? As long as it makes the killing game more entertaining, anything goes. Well, that's... Even if that ends the killing game? Huh? End the killing game. Oh, you. Haven't I been saying it over and over again this whole time? Yahoo! The killing game is eternal. It doesn't matter what you do, this killing game will absolutely, positively never end. <laughs> the killing game is a symbol of, of despair. How can something so fun just end? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Oh, you don't need to fret over what it means. All meaning aside, it's the truth. <laughs> the best thing you guys can do now is just accept that truth. Okay, well, quite a few clues. Alright, I finished investigating everything I needed to. What's going on? I can't find the mastermind anywhere. Aww. They weren't hiding here. Did you find anything, Shuichi? Uh, um... I've inspected everything I found, but I feel like there's still something hidden here. Uh. Alright, here we go. Come on. Big, big crack in the case, hopefully. Another memory. Alright, what's going on here? What? Oh, is this... What? This is... Oh, it's too quiet. Hey. Hi, Shuichi! Looks like you've finally woken up from a long sleep. Huh? What? Monokuma? Huh? Although we're meeting for the first time, you already know me. Well, of course you know. I'm famous after all. Hope's Peak Academy's killing game was the most watched event in television history. Damn it. Why is Monokuma here? It, it can't be. Hi, hello. Oh, but it can. This is where it all begins. A brand new killing game, courtesy of the Gopher Project. Huh? Killing game? Well now then, from here, things will proceed how they usually do. You'll all lose your memories and forget everything that's happened up to this point. The stakes of the Gopher Project. The hopes and dreams that humanity entrusted to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you'll forget that you're the last 16 survivors of the human race, too. The bonds of trust you forged, your disgusting promises of friendship... Extreme! All that's gonna go bye-bye when the killing game starts. It's no use. What? Why are you doing this? Hmm? There's no point in asking me questions. You're gonna forget everything anyway. Hey! Who's behind this? Who are you? Junko Enoshima is dead. And another thing. Like I said, there's no point. You'll just forget that, too. Damn it! You're lying. How could I ever forget this? Ta-da! The blackout light. Huh? What? Hey, um... The blackout light has the power to induce total memory loss. The light it emits stimulates the basal nuclei... Um... Uh, nuclei... Nuclei... <laughs> and the hippo... Hippo... Oh my gosh. I can say these words. I promise I can. The hip, hippocampus. Hey! Wait a minute. No, no, no! Nope. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna use this light, and then I'm gonna shove you all into lockers while you're unconscious. <laughs> Looking forward to it! And then the killing game will begin. Uh, not really much information there, at least not at face value. I remember. My final lost memory. It, it can't be! That was from just after we woke up from cold sleep. Uh, okay. Yes, a memory from right before the killing game began. Mm -hmm. We were each woken up by Monokuma, and our memories were taken. And we were forced to do all this? This is... We were going to work together. We promised to become friends. Why you... Monokuma, I'll never forgive you. That's terrible. Me too. I'll absolutely never forgive him. You're right. I feel the same way, but right now we need to investigate. Dawn is coming. <sighs> then leave things to me. You go check the other places. Huh? What? You feel like there's still a mystery here, right, Shuichi? Then I'll find it for you. No offense, Himiko, but you weren't really much help with the last time. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like Maki. We're all trying to work together and find the truth, but I haven't found any clues yet. Okay. I need to recover my honor. But... Himiko, will you be okay by yourself? Cut it out. That's a stupid question. Right. Since I got that memory back, I'm now overwhelmed with anger. Hmm. With my skills, I'll catch the dastardly Monokuma and the Mastermind. You're right. I understand. Then I'll leave it to you, Himiko. Okay. What? What? Really? Are you seriously gonna leave it to me? All by myself? What should we do? If you're not confident enough to do it, then you don't need to force yourself. No. No, I'm okay. 
Since you believe in me, I need to give it my all. Okay. I'll find the clue, even if it uses up every last drop of my magic and kills me. Hey now. Don't say such unlucky things. It'll be okay. I'm just letting you know how determined I am. You guys should believe in me and go on ahead. <laughs> Thank you. That really makes me feel better, Himiko. What should we do? With how little time is left, it's probably best to split up, right? That's true. Yes, we need to split up and check all the labs one more time. If we missed a clue in any of them, it would most likely be that one. All right. Got it. Let's go. Mm. Be careful. Okay. You too, Himiko. Oh boy, that one? Oh crap. Okay. Um Okay. Which which lab? Am I literally Okay, I was like, are they literally going to make me have to check all the labs? When we left the hidden room, we saw Kibo and the Exosol in a fierce battle. Are you alright? Are either of you injured? Uh, okay. uh, I'm okay. What? The hidden door has been blocked by ro- Oh no, Himiko! Oh, no. oh shit. Kibo, you gotta fix this, man. Well. I'm sorry. I'm relieved you two are not hurt. <laughs> no mention of Himiko, though. <laughs> Damn, I used too much time. It's dawn already. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Did I do this wrong? Uh oh. Well, um, I I thought that the time limit wasn't really gonna be an issue. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> you took too long. Be careful. You don't have time to investigate everything. Oh, there's just, dang it. There's just that part of me that just can't help but want to investigate everything. I screwed it up. Only investigate what you need to. Okay. <laughs> dang it. All right. Oh, I gotta start over again. Seems like I knew it. Why you? All right. Well, I mean, we'll skip ahead then. Hopefully, I haven't ruined it. Hopefully, I do have an like. They're gonna give me enough time to be able to redo this again. All right. Well, I've got a little bit more time there, but let's see if I can just. Oh, okay. I just gotta be careful, I guess, about what I click on. The hidden door has been blocked by rubble. We can't get in or out. Could it be? Is Himiko trapped? Uh, okay. I think so. Kibo. Kibo, can you do something? Hmm. I can destroy the debris, but without knowing Himiko's status. It could be dangerous for me to just recklessly attack it. Stop it! Then are you just saying we should just leave her there? You can't! I couldn't do such a thing. We're friends. But but I'm not strong enough to lift the debris. Then... Let's use the Exosol. Huh? What? What? Use the Exosol? How? That's impossible. We don't have any more of Mew's inventions, and the Monocubs are in the Exosols. That's wrong. Exactly. We're gonna get Monokuma and the Monocubs to do it. Incomprehensible. Monokuma and the Monocubs? Remember. They don't want this either. Their objective is to continue the killing game. Please wait. Are you suggesting that we surrender to them and continue the killing game? But Himiko is in danger. Rescuing her should be our first... No. No, we're going to end this killing game. Um... What do you mean? Do you have a plan of some sort? Okay. Of course he does. Shuichi has always got a plan. Yes, I do. It just requires a little bit of detective work. We need to investigate some more. What? What about Himiko? That's... I'm worried about her, but we have to trust that she's okay right now. We trusted her when she said to leave everything to her. If we just stand here, we're not respecting her wishes. Okay, Himiko is the ultimate magician. I bet she'll use her magic to find a clue in that room that's just plain amazing. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure Himiko is okay. Um. If you're in search of clues, I would investigate the classroom on the second floor. Huh? Well. I caught a glimpse of something odd there while battling uh, battling the Exosols in the courtyard. Whatever clue you're looking for may be there. That's. Thank you, Kibo, because I had no idea where I was supposed to go. They were just talking about, like, investigate all of the, all of the, um, the labs. I'm just like, I don't have time for that. I literally ran out of time. <laughs> just 
Just hurry. You don't have much time. It's nearly dawn. I'll commit that to my and memory bank. I'm worried about Himiko. Kibo. What? But you won't change the time limit, will you? Unfortunately. I can't keep evading the Exosol's attacks beyond that time limit. We don't settle this soon. I'll be destroyed. And if that happens, we'll lose the chance... Uh, we'll lose the chance to destroy the Ultimate Academy. That would be the worst ending. No. It would be an ending of pure despair. That would be pretty crazy if this game actually had, like, multiple endings. And you couldn't just, like, go back and retry. Kibo. Alright, hey. so classroom on the second floor. But there's a couple of them, aren't there? Sumugi, I'm going to the second floor. Yeah. I don't know if I can get to all of them, but I'll do what I can. I'll see you later. With confident steps, Sumugi ran out of the library. Himiko, just a little longer. Perfect. Alright. Alright, let's go. And no more investigating anything that's not, like, immediately pertinent to the case. See, I was thinking when uh, Shuichi was talking about how he had to investigate that place, I thought maybe it was going to be Kaede's uh, lab. Because uh, the whole thing about that shot put and everything. But look at that, the fact that this stuff is blocked here. Oh, it's blocked by a piano? I'm wondering if that's just... I don't know if that's, uh, you know, relevant or if that's just a coincidence, but I don't know. Like I said, there's a couple of classrooms here. Hmm. This room. I need to investigate the classroom in the back. Okay. Well, at least it's telling me exactly where to go, so I appreciate that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Kibo, <laughs> Kibo was not lying when he said it was something odd. Kibo said he saw something odd while fighting in the courtyard. I should be able to see the entire courtyard from here. Okay. This must be what he was talking about. Alright, let's see if I can find something. The locker seems intact. But I don't think this is what Kibo was talking about. Ah, dang it. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, the number one thing I wanted to check out is the, uh, this whole dealio. It might be best to just blow up anything in the way. Okay. Yes, I finally have my smacking skills. I'm using them for something more than just getting coins, I'm assuming. All of my training has led to this moment. Oh, there we are, there we are. What is this desk? There's a keyboard floating above it. Is this connected to a computer? Hmm. This must be the something odd Kibo was talking about. When I touch the keyboard. Huh? Flashback light setup. Huh? Setup? Like settings? Seeking answers, I press the enter key. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Unlocking new memory. Do the settings create new flashback lights? To test my deductions, I selected one of the categories. Categories for unlocking new memories. It looks different than the others. Select the subject you wish to remember. So there are still some memories we haven't remembered yet. But... If we can remember something new, that would definitely be a clue. Alright, All right, let's try it. I wonder what kind of memory it is. I'll start with the survivors. Huh? Ooh! <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. So they... Oh, interesting. Select the subject you wish to remember. What does it mean by select? These are all memories we forgot. So does that mean that certain people remember different things? Or they can just choose which, like, false memories? All of these should be true events, so why would you be able to select one? And these categories, there are several inconsistencies about the survivors. 
Do I have to select the correct one? That's true. I suppose I'll choose the survivors on a different planet. That's true. There's more hope for us. Okay. The symbol of hope, Hope Speak Academy, the worst incident in human history occurred. With the work of Future Foundation, the world was rebuilt, but falling meteorites caused an outbreak of an unknown virus. The Gopher Project was then executed. 16 high schoolers survived. However, there were survivors on other planets. There were survivors in other ships similar to the Ark. Uh, um... Oh my gosh! That sound. So it was. It was just like putting false memories in our head. That sound. If I remember correctly, it came from that locker. Is that another? Is that the flashback light? I just created one. If I remember correctly, the sound I heard definitely came from inside the locker. I'll open it. Yep. Ah, oh. a flashback light. This is new. It just got here. Uh, um... Just as I suspected, you can make flashback lights with that desk. I don't know why it was hidden in a normal looking classroom. There must be a switch hidden somewhere. Flipping that switch will cause this desk to activate. I'm sure Kibo saw all this when the room was destroyed. But what interests me is exactly how these flashback lights are made. There's only one truth. There should only be one true memory. But this clearly allows you to choose. Why? And there's no indication of which are real. Is there more than one truth? What is the truth, and what are the lies? Okay. Right at that moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I was afraid it was going to be like an XSL, like I found something I was not supposed to find. There you are, Shuichi! Himiko. The classroom changed back to normal. What is going on here? What? What? That's insane. So when the door opens, the classroom reverts back to normal. I can assume that was done in order to obfuscate the room's purpose. The person operating all this did not want us to see it. And if they're that cautious of us... Oh my gosh. I don't know what you're thinking, Shuichi, but hey! be happier that I survived. I was able to make a spectacular escape from that sealed room. Oh, oh right. He's like, I forgot you were in there. How did, Himo how did Himiko escape when the entrance was blocked by rubble? Um. Himiko, how did you get out of the hidden room? She finally oh, used her magic. The hidden door in the library was destroyed. Did she find another exit? Uh, we were um... so worried about you. You were trapped in there. Mm? You don't understand how I escaped from there? Uh, okay. No? <laughs> I see. You don't get it. You don't know how I escaped. <laughs> then I shall tell you. I escaped from that sealed room with my magic. Um... Himiko, now's not the time for... Himiko, are you okay? Th that was a close one. I almost died. Remember. I told you, now's not the time. Then... Got it, I'll tell you. I definitely used my magic, but another thing that helped me escape that sealed room was the girls' bathroom on the first floor of the school building. So it was a... It was most likely a girl. Huh? The bathroom? Hey, Shuichi. Do you want to go there with me? Huh? Huh? Stop it. Uh, I'm not inviting you to go to the bathroom with me. Don't start getting weird thoughts. No. No, I know that. The girls' bathroom on the first floor. What does that have to do with the hidden room? There doesn't appear to be any new clues other than the flashback light. You're right. All right, I'll head to the bathroom. Okay. So we can infer from that that if there was a, seems like there was a secret entrance from the women's bathroom. Like I said, it's gotta be. So I mean that narrows it down a little bit. It's gotta be a girl who knew about that. I mean, Rantaro also could have known about that secret pathway because he had the survivor perk, but he would risk getting caught coming out of the women's bathroom, and that would look suspicious. What could be in the girl's bathroom? 
I can't go inside. I'm a boy. I should ask Himiko first. Oh my gosh, Shuichi. We do not have time for this. It's an investigation. Um. Just go. What's going on in this bathroom? Does it have something to do with the hidden room? Hmm. Once you go in, you'll understand. Seeing is believing. Follow me. Himiko gestured me closer and walked into the girl's bathroom. The girl's bathroom, huh? This is an emergency. Nothing I can do about that. Now's not the time to be thinking about boys' and girls' bathrooms. Alright, I'll do it. I repeated several excuses in my mind as I stepped into the girls' bathroom. I don't know, is, is this more of like a cultural thing about like, it's so wrong, it's so horrible for a guy to go into a girl's bathroom? It's like, I don't know, I just feel like it, that's not as big of a taboo here. Maybe, I don't know. I just feel like Shuichi's being really weird about this. It's like, you're doing an investigation, it's okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Especially if it's gonna help mm. us find out the, who the mastermind is and what's going on. What are we doing here, Himiko? Mm. So, it's just like the killing game in Hope's Peak Academy. Huh? What do you mean? Okay. It's just like then, right? The hidden room and the bathroom are connected. Huh? The hidden room and the bathroom? Hey, Shuichi. Oh, I... I didn't remember that from the first game. Look where the equipment is placed. Jeez, caught up on past killing games. Typical of a remnant of despair. Wait, is she calling me a remnant of despair? I take umbrage with that girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's uh, right. Um... That is right. Now I remember. That was the room where it had Kyoko's... Uh, the picture with her dad and everything. Oh. This looks like a normal closet, but I carefully place my palm on the far wall of the closet. Huh? A hidden passage. Hmm. Isn't it surprising? A hidden pathway deep within the bathroom. Now proceed through this pathway. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. I step through the false wall and into the hidden passageway. It's like, damn, here we go, how did you find this? I guess she was just pressing on walls and waiting for something to maybe pop up, unless she knew she's the mastermind. It leads to the hidden room. The girls' bathroom and the hidden room in the library are connected. Then The library isn't the only way to get in and out of the hidden room. The hidden room had the se uh, secret passageway leading out of it. And that passageway connects to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. But this passageway... Oh, wasn't on Rantaro's survivor perk map, so he couldn't have known about it. This passageway was hidden, even from him. A hidden passageway that only the Mastermind knows about. Hmm. A passageway connected to the girls' bathroom. All right, is there anything else? Because, like, we're getting pretty close to this time limit. I don't want to risk, uh... Oh, I just realized that that's, uh, knocked out of place. Mother Kuma is lying on the ground, likely due to the explosion. Is it broken? Hi, hello! I'm busted. Ah, uh, it's over. I can't go on. I can't birth Monokumas anymore. I wanted to birth more and more and more. Birth Monokumas, huh? Hey! Is it true that you can make spare monokumas? Yeah. Uh, of course it's true. <laughs> Fine, since it's the end for me, I guess I'll say it. I have a built-in voice print authentica uh, authentication system. I can't birth monokumas unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. Designated person. Here. It's to ensure that my Monokumas are birthed in a welcoming environment, you know? Hey! Wait a minute, this designated person, do you mean the Mastermind? Only the Mastermind's voice command will make you create a spare Monokuma? <laughs> that that hint was on the house, so to speak. <laughs> All glory to the killing game. And he's done. Hey! hey. Mm. It seems like it's really broken this time. That was an important clue. 
Mother Kuma creates spare Monokumas after receiving the Mastermind's voice command. Alright. If I talk to Himiko, well that, uh, I don't have a lot of time before the limit, so I really gotta be careful about what I... But I feel like she might have some important information. You're right. Once more, I shall uh, reveal the secret behind my escape from the sealed room. Okay. Yes, please do. Hmm. Right after you guys left this room, there was a huge explosion and I got flipped over. When I came to my senses, it looked like this. Uh, um... I'm surprised you weren't hurt. You're right. Since I've been using my magic a lot lately, hmm. a magical backlash must have happened and the way out got buried in rubble. Even I, the wise and powerful Himiko, panicked a little bit when I saw I was trapped in here. Hey! What happened after that? I... I banged on the walls and the floors and yelled for help. <laughs> Calmly and rationally, of course. I'm sure. Hmm. Then I happened to find that hidden pathway, and that's how I got out. Okay. Then I ran into Kibo, and he told me you were in one of the classrooms on the second floor. So I rushed over there. Hmm. I see, so that's what happened. I understand now. Hey! Well, was I useful? It seems Himiko is still concerned about that. Aw. No, girl, that is, like, really important information, this whole hidden passageway. That is super important information. I should probably get out of here. The entranceway to the bathroom were blocked by rubble. We'd be completely trapped. Um. Himiko, let's go. I have a good idea of what's going on here. Hey. Something wrong? Hey. Just tell it to me straight, like a man. Huh? Tell you what. Hmm. The hidden pathway I found. Is it a useful clue? I want to be useful for my friends. Aww. But I can't help much in uh, investigations, can I? I couldn't find the mastermind. <laughs> You're worried about that? Okay. Himiko, not only were you useful, you may have cracked the case wide open. I see. Really? If I found such an amazing clue, that's proof I'm no ordinary person. <laughs> I'm terrified of my own magical power. <laughs> right. Let's get out of here. That was pretty cute, actually. If we've come this far, we're safe. Now that I feel safe, I'm a little over it. Then... Oh, don't say that, Himiko. Uh, okay, I'll step outside. Himiko's always the one who's like... Whenever somebody says something, she's like, Oh, now you've basically jinxed it. Blushing, I left the girls' bathroom as fast as I could. Oh, someone's gonna be out here and see me. Yep, of course. At that moment. Of all the places in the school she could be, she's right there to see me come out of the bathroom. Oh. <sighs> what were you doing? Why were you in the girls' bathroom? Maki! Maki, it's not what it looks like, I'm just... Shut up. Do you want to die? Like, seriously, of all the things going on right now, why is everybody so... concerned about Shuichi being in the girls' bathroom? Uh. No, listen, there's a reason. Yeah, we got... we got bigger things to worry about right now. W what Don't do that when I'm doing my business. I can't relieve myself if you do that. What? Himiko's inside? And you were... in there, Shuichi? Uh, um... uh, okay, this is all a huge misunderstanding. Sure. Well, yeah. I guess you wouldn't enter the girls' bathroom without a reason. Okay, okay. I'll believe you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, though it still seems like you want to murder me. By the way. Anyway, I found this. Oh. Rantaro's picture, thank you. I took the photograph from her and inspected it closely. <laughs> Just as I thought. I sighed to myself, looking over the picture. Everything was beginning to connect in my mind. Oh, I'm trying to see if there's anything out of, like, anything of importance to note, but, like, is that the thing in his hand, is that the, um, that was the survivor perk mono, uh, monopad? I finally saw through all of the lies. Ah, oh, it bothers me that I, I, I'm not seeing what Shuichi's seeing there. With this, I can fight. I can fight the mastermind behind this killing game. And I believe I can end it all. Hey. You look like you just realized something. Well... But what do you want to do now? It's almost dawn. 
that this is bad. We don't even know the Mastermind's identity or where they are. Leave it to me. It's okay. I have a plan. Can you two please go get Samugi? She should be in one of the labs. After that, I'd like everyone to gather in the courtyard. Okay. I'll be waiting for you there. What's that mean? Wh what do you mean? What are you planning on doing? I just realized, too, like, if nobody dies, how are we going to do this supposed trial? Because the trials only happen when someone dies. So that means either someone's gonna die here, or we're gonna have to either, like, are we gonna tell Monokuma, like, hey, we want to have a class trial. That's... Stop the killing game, of course. Mm -hmm. But we haven't even found the mastermind, so how... All right already. We can talk about that later. We don't have much time left, so let's hurry and find Sumugi. Hmm. Uh, oh, I see. I stood and watched Himiko and Maki go off to find Samugi. All right. All right, to the courtyard. But before I stop this killing game, I need to stop the destruction of the Ultimate Academy. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. I'm assuming I gotta go tell Kibo to stop. Hopefully, I'm going in the right di right direction here. Maybe I'll tell everybody to cool their jets and tell Monokuma like, "Hey, I want to." Uh, I want to settle this in a class trial. When I stepped out into the courtyard, I yelled at the top of my voice. Kibo! Kibo! Monokuma! Please, stop fighting! We can solve this another way, one that's best for both of you. That's it. Please, listen to me! My voice reverberated throughout the courtyard. And after a while... It's almost dawn, like we agreed. Have you found what you were looking for? Are you ready to do what must be done, Shuichi? Either way, this is your last chance. Kivo? Ugh, I don't like the way he's talking to me. I have no idea what's going on, but messing with this robot is starting to bore me, so I guess I'll hear you out. So, what is this other way? A class trial. Yeah, there we go. All right. We're all going to do a class trial one last time. A class, class trial? trial? That's... What do you mean? Are you trying to continue the killing game? Why, you... This is no time to mess around. I thought you were going to end it. No. Uh, does he say, like, if we figure out who the mastermind is, this ends, but if we don't, we all die? Like, how is Monokuma going to agree to this? Because Shuichi says, I like, it'll be good, it'll be f for the best for all of us. That's wrong. This class trial will end the killing game. Like, why would what? Monokuma agree to that? Other than it, oh, well, this will make things more interesting, so... A class trial to end the killing game? As Kibo spoke, I saw Maki running over from the school building. What are you talking about? Hey, what do you mean we're going to do a class trial? You. Are you serious? It can't be. That's how you're going to end the killing game? Okay. Everyone's here. Now let me say this. We need to stop fighting and have one more class trial. That's it. If we reveal the whole truth there, we can end this killing game. The killing game will end when the truth is exposed? Why would you say such a thing? That's... By the end of the class trial, that will be clear. Monokuma, you're the one who calls these class trials. All right. But not this time. This time, we choose to call a class trial. One to end them all. You're really bugging me. But why do we need to hold a class trial when no one has been killed? Well, it's fine. That's what I'd like to say, but I get it. What? What? My little shootout with this rundown robot hasn't been fun for a while now. <laughs> and I think it's pretty interesting that you guys are on board with holding a class trial. <laughs> In fact, I welcome your initiative. This turn of events will make things very interesting. So even in these circumstances, you take the opportunity to make things interesting. That means this killing game must be... However, if we're going to hold a class trial, I'm going to hold you guys responsible for it. Huh? Responsible? It would be bad if we held a class trial that didn't reach a satisfying conclusion. In other words, in other words if the trial doesn't go your way and ends without the truth being exposed, you the truth, then you all will be held responsible for staging such a disappointing class trial. Uh, okay. Uh, of course. <laughs> I don't doubt your resolve at all. So Shuichi basically without any of any el anyone else's like counsel or telling them what he was planning to do. Because you know Monokuma's probably going to be like, I'm going to kill all of you if you guys don't figure out the truth. Yeah, exactly. But are, they, are the others okay with it too? The responsibility will be shared by all of you. What 
Was that... The responsibility will be shared? But... We've been ready. That's true. I'll trust you, but if you screw this up... <laughs> I'll kill you before Monokuma can. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> You're right. I love that she was more angry with me for being in the women's bathroom. She legitimately looked like she wanted to kill me than me basically putting everybody's lives on the line. <laughs> You're right. There's no point freaking out now. Hmm. I have friends I can trust. There's nothing to be scared of. <sighs> um, Kibo. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if we're going to do this class trial, you got to take off all that fancy sci-fi gear. We can't risk you going berserk if the outcome isn't in your favor. See. Take off this gear... If I remove these armaments now, I'll lose my chance to destroy this academy. This is the last chance. The last chance to not let Monokuma win. Is this really alright? Um. Kibo, please believe me. I don't want Monokuma to win. We're going to win. Our hope is going to end this game of despair. But Do you really think that the ending awaits us? It sounds too good to be true, honestly. Okay. Yes, I do. That ending is hope for us. And we can't give up on hope. Um... Kibo, let's trust Shuichi here. Hey. You don't want to die either, right? Right. We're all friends who can believe in each other, aren't we? Except one of us might be the mastermind, so not really. Well, we still have to figure out this whole twin situation. That's got me intrigued. I understand. Very well. I will remove my armaments. Let's hold this class trial. Thank you. Thank you, Kibo. <laughs> then it's decided. All right. That's right. Our class trial. That's it. Our final battle, our hope will defeat your despair. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? Gross. Is he that confident he'll win? It's fine. It'll be okay. He's probably just bluffing. <laughs> Who can say? Well, if we're going to do this class trial, we should hurry up and head to the trial grounds. Oh. However, I will have the monocub strip that robot of his gear. Yeah. I know. You got Everyone else, please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment and head to the Trial Grounds. <laughs> I'll go on ahead and begin preparing. Monocubs, you can take it from here. So... Alright then, we're gonna take all this gear off of this robot. Let's do I'll finish it in seconds, because I work like I eat. Fast and sloppy. <sighs> you shouldn't be proud of being sloppy. Everyone. I'll meet you guys there. You... You okay. take good care of my boy. Of my robot boy. He better he better not have a scratch on him. Kibo walked back towards the lab with the exosols. Then we should go too. Don't tell me. I can't believe we're having another class trial. Why? I didn't think Monokuma would accept so easily. That was too easy. I can't help but feel a little strange. It's from that one thing. He probably agreed to it to stop Kibo from destroying the academy. Still, it was almost too easy. Perhaps Monokuma simply expected this. But it was still much easier than I imagined it would be. No sense worrying about that now. We've come this far. We just have to do it. To end this killing game, we have to follow his rules one last time. And win this class trial. Alright guys. Let's see what uh, they have to say. What? I wonder if Kibo is okay. I hope they don't do anything weird while they're disarming him. No. I'm sure they won't. If anything happened to Kibo right now, it wouldn't be a fair trial that Monokuma insists on. I see. I see. Then it's okay. The four of us and Kibo. Yeah. By combining the marks of our friendship, we can overcome this final class, uh, class trial. Never ever. We're having another class trial. But... But this will be the final one, right? Yes, I I'm pretty sure this will be the final one. Okay. The final, final one that's still blowing my mind that this is the last class trial I will ever do in this series. It's kind of sad. What is it? Maybe he accepted because he couldn't handle Kibo's destruction anymore? No, that can't be the reason. That's right. Even Kibo said it himself. He'd only be able to withstand the Exosol's attacks until dawn. What are you trying to Then why did Monokuma agree to this so easily? No. I can't say for sure, but we can't be distracted by that. That's true. No matter what he's plotting, hey. we're ready to end this killing game, right? That's it. Yes, with this class trial.
The next time we come out of the trial grounds, it'll all be over, right? We can win, right? Okay. Of course. It's okay. It'll be okay. This class trial should be much easier than the others. Oh, Maki, so... So confident in that. I don't know. What? Why? Because. Up until now, we had to find the culprits among the people in our group during the class trials. That's why we couldn't work together even if we wanted to. But this time, it's different. Well, sorta, kinda. Except if we're trying to find the mastermind and one of these guys are the masterminds, and they're not gonna want, uh... Well, I'd imagine that they wouldn't want to be found out. Since there isn't a culprit among us, we can work together without any doubts. Ah. We're all going to be working together this time. I already feel more at ease. Yeah, Shuichi is probably thinking like, mm, not really. I wish it had happened sooner. At the beginning, there were 16 of us. But now there's only four of us standing here, plus Kibo, who's coming later. Well, We're about to head to the last battle. Why are you so depressed? Sorry. So sorry, you're right. Yeah, Kibo. Everyone. Thank you for waiting. Kibo. That was fast, Kibo. <laughs> His weapons have been removed. I suppose we don't have to worry about him attacking. What? What? Are you disappointed? Did you prefer your sci-fi gear after all? Well. No, it's not that. Everyone. I'm just very sorry. Oh, Kibo. Kibo bowed at the waist to us. <sighs> I acted recklessly and put you all in serious danger. Everyone. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. What's wrong? You're totally different from before when you were in battle mode. Um... Shuichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope. Uh, okay. That- that's right. I... I finally realized that you were right. My inner voice told me. Hmm. Your inner voice? I thought you said you couldn't hear it anymore. Well, I had the monocups repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now, for some reason, I can hear my inner voice again. So he can hear it again after the repairs. But it looks like his hair... Looks like an antenna. Does that mean it wasn't just decoration? And now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? What does he hear? Aww. I was wrong to try and destroy everything just to avoid losing to despair. Even if I had followed through, there would have been no hope or future left afterwards. In which case, my actions would have merely resulted in a different despair altogether. I do not expect you to forgive me. What I did was foolish. Please. But will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please. I'm... Of course, Kibo. That's what I wanted from the start. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to do this. <laughs> so if you'll allow me? <laughs> Samugi? Oh, you seem angry, Samugi. Would you prefer I not help? Well... I'm not mad. I'm just holding myself back. When someone says please that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. What? I don't get that. Is that a reference to like an anime or something? But I can read the mood here, so I'm holding back. Well, of course. It's fine. I'm so confused by what she said just there. Yeah, I'm okay now. Of course you can fight with us, Kibo. Hmm. There's a big wall between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Everyone. Thank you. By the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but... What is this vacuum cleaner you're carrying? I see. It's the bug vac. I think Kokichi designed it and had Mew make it. I see. Ah, yes. Gonta had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Okay. Yes, I thought it could be a clue to something. But we can't seem to catch any bugs with it. It doesn't seem like there are any. <sighs> so it really was just Gonta's imagination after all. No. Wait, it might be too soon to determine that. Can we wait until I've examined it with my eyes at least? Your eyes? One of his many skills, he's, does he have, like, special eyeballs? Um, what do you mean, Kibo? You. What good can your eyes do? It's not like you've got good eyesight, right? Yeah. That was true, until I installed my zoom function. Huh? Your zoom function? Yes. It was in my lab, next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. Thanks to that zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold. Huh? A hundredfold? What did you say? That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings. But... This is the true talent of the ultimate robot. Because I'm a robot, I can evolve in ways I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. I finally accepted that. There are notable differences between us, but they're nothing for me to be ashamed of. I feel like Kibo is going to be a really big factor in this uh, class trial. Like this this class trial seems to kind of have him be like MVP. I also Because with my talent, it's possible I could save you all. Kibo took the bug vac from Maki and... Leave it to me. It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my vision is on par with that of a microscope. 
Maki, I'll borrow this bug back for a moment. He stared at it intensely. I see it. I'll print out this memory. Oh, there are little bugs in there. Just as before, Kibo printed a picture from right out of his mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. Huh? Is this Monokuma? Hey. Oh, and they've got little video cameras. Are these the small bugs Gonto was talking about? Yes. A human's eyes would not be able to see things that exist at a nanoscopic level. Mm. For Gonto to have noticed them, his vision really was superhuman. Hey. hey, what are these things holding? Are they holding cameras? Well, then. Why don't we ask them? Huh? We can talk to this? Leave it to me. Yes, I have already installed an augmented hearing function. Oh my what gosh, Kibo. That? I guess anything is possible. All right, Kibo, sorry for doubting you all this time. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? Kibo asked in a way that made it clear it was not up for negotiation. They call themselves Nanokumas. Apparently, they're members of the Monocubs. What? This little thing? Then there were actually six Monocubs? Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one, it's a whole swarm of monocubs. If they're that small, they could have been in my nose or mouth and I'd never know. I don't like the thought of that. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monokuma. You mean, like a security camera? They're so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye. They must be the security cameras. So there were security cameras after all. And they'd be recording the footage wirelessly. Kokichi was correct to use the Electro-Bomb. When he used it, the Nanokumas were unable to send any footage back to Monokuma. You're right. Yes, in that case, I doubt Monokuma knew the real culprit. Uh, the more I learned, the more I wish that Kokichi had just worked with us normally. But... That's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. I never would have imagined that the six Monokub would be security cameras. That's how Monokuma was able to keep watch of this entire academy. He's toying with us. He's not just confident, he's sure he's going to win. I know that must be what he's thinking. Oh yeah. At least we know that important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the class trial. <laughs> Very convenient that Kibo just happened to get this new function. Thank you. Yeah, thanks Kibo. By the way. You're welcome, but we should get going now. That's true. Yeah, we don't know what Monokuma will do if we show up late. That's fine. You're right, then let's start heading to the trial grounds. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. There's no point in worrying anymore. Right now, we only need to think about getting out of here alive. All right, one last time. And so we put the destroyed Ultimate Academy behind us and headed to the final trial grounds. Ooh, I'm excited they're gonna be doing special, something special for this final one. Like the last one where they had it be like the first Ankenroba class trial. Carrying the last of the survivors, the elevator brought us down. What could be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair. And the beginning of hope. Everything ends here. Everything. The killing game of Hope's Peak Academy. The killing game of Jabberwock Island. And the killing game of this ultimate academy. How much more until they're satisfied? This is the end of it. I'm tired of this. We're going to end it. We're going to end this cruel game. Okay. 
This looks like a game show. So this is the final trial grounds. <laughs> it's not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. Huh? What do you mean? Well, well. More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this uh, class trial, I'm sure you won't mind allowing me to participate too, right? Right. It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True. I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. What is it? You seem confident. <laughs> with my magic. You're confident now, but I'm going to turn your body into an omnibus with my magic. Actually. A an omnibus? Do you mean the vehicle or like a compilation book or? Fucking me. Knock it off. I won't be provoked by your cheap threats. Aww. He seems really provoked. Yeah, but... If Pops is gonna participate, things are gonna get pretty damn interesting. Father! You can do it, Father. Get a rock hard ranger! We'll cheer you on till our voices are hoarse and bleeding. Right, Monodam? That's wonderful. This is beautiful. How stupid. Cheer me on. You guys are totally participating, too. chance to kill these guys off again, this time for good. <laughs> you kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I hogged the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, then what use are any of you? Um... P pivotal role? Can we really do it? Hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. As a good parent, I will do my damnedest to motivate you. Well, With this button. What? What's that button for? It's a monocub detonator that I prepare to ensure my adorable kids do their very best. Huh? De detonator Yeah. Yep, with a push of this button, I'll detonate the bombs inside each of your bodies. So make sure you try really hard, or I'll start pressing this button. Got it? Hey. That's too far. Here. You know what they say, if your kids are cute, put a bomb inside of them. Are you stupid? Th th that's not a real saying. Cause. I know you cute kids can do this, you just needed the proper vo uh, motivation. So no need to worry. Just make sure you all play pivotal roles. That's all. <laughs> How absurd. I knew it. You really are the worst. <laughs> I'm the best at being the worst, don't you think so? <laughs> I tell ya, people can't get enough of my crude antics. No. Alright, let's get started. Let's get this crude climax underway. <laughs> <laughs> 